my feisty little fellow. One of the most common questions I get asked is how do you decide where to fish? It's a springtime right now here in Texas, and I know that the fish want to be in the backs of the creeks. It's where they're going to spawn. But you really have to decide, okay, which creeks am I going to fish? The water's down here at this lake right now, and it makes it really easy. I can look around to my left, and I see this part of the creek is barren. Just banks with not much cover, not much grass, really nothing to hold the fish. But uh, to my right, there is a creek channel, a little bit deeper water, and a bunch of shallow cover. Stumps, laydowns, that's where the bass like to spawn around, that's where their food lives, that's where they hang around. So look for the pockets with the most cover, grass, and wood, you'll find the bass there. Now once you find a likely pocket, you have to find out if the fish are shallow or deep. Typically, the warmer the weather has been, especially if you had three, four, five days in a row of sunny, warm weather, the water temperature is warming up, they're going to move shallow. All these stumps and laydowns I see right on the bank, that's where I'm going to look for them. I'll either throw a tube or a jig to it, pitch it right to that cover, or maybe if they're more active, a spinnerbait or a crankbait by it. Now if you get a cold front that comes through and all of a sudden the air temperature drops 20, 30 degrees for the high, uh, you get a cold rain, a lot of overcast and some really cold nights, some frost, that's going to drive them deeper. They're not going to swim all the way out to the mouth of the lake, but they're just going to move a little deeper. These poles you see behind me are actually marking a little creek channel runs through here. It's where the old creek was before they dammed the lake. The flats up there are about three to four feet deep. The creek channel is about eight or nine feet. All the bass do when it gets colder is move back to the creeks, and you guessed it, they get next to the cover again. So the big old stumps on the old creek channel, that's a perfect spot. You typically have to slow down. Once again, either a Texas rig like a tube or a craw or jig are really good. Work it slowly and a little bit deeper. So remember, a warming trend, move shallower to the back of the creek. If it gets a little colder, move a little deeper. The neat thing is, once you find a pocket that's holding fish, all you have to do is just relocate them every day. A little warmer, you'll find them a little shallower. A little colder, they'll just be a little deeper. They're there somewhere, they want to be up there to spawn, they're going to be close.